here. I got some time and great tools for you. I'll roll right quick. I'm sorry I haven't been around for a bit, guys. Uh, been busy, and I haven't had much interest in the game anymore. Uh, I had to throw a few things, time and great to release, and it entertained me a bit. It was fun, but I wasn't sure I would come back to the game. Um, Touch so deck gets reviewed, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm back to the game. And I just been a little busy. So, this is me doing my friend Jen all three times. He's using three very good decks. He's using a zombie horde. And you're not going to see chat, anything in the chat, because we're, we're doing a video chat for this. With... So, he's trying to start in the top with. So, he's going to have a good opening. Um, you see, my opening is not the best. I'm hoping for a good upset. And I threw in a good tower. Let's save that hand. That's why I like upset. 39 card deck. I like infusion deck. It's another level 3 attender. I got foul here, Bark in that back row. So it won't be a problem. And from here, I'm just going to pop off. So you told me have my guy here and shift him over. Um, this was just a little me. Because I've been playing a bit on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and with the new Link 1 the deck had. And I got so used to the combo over there. That could tell going here wouldn't hurt. So I asked him if it was fine if I could just shift it over one trail. Because I was just so used to the, of the combo being different over on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro because of the new Link 1. Um, and he said, yeah, that's fine, man. It's not going to change things. So, interviews in here. So, I do misplay a bit during these duels because I'm not the world's greatest Diamond Great player by a long shot, but I'm still good. You'll see me overcome Trick Dirt. Now, it should have been in 2-0. I'm just going to tell you that now. This should have ended in 2-0. The, the duel against him when he's using Trick Dirt. But, I messed up. So, you're going to see it. Me mid clicking on some stuff, so he's gonna fat Vela, not gonna matter. He fat Vela too late in my combo, it's not gonna matter here. He's gonna see me pop, 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 pop. So I do make some mid play, so like right there, right there. For ten, I couldn't not do that. I had misread this guy, Heat Leo, and I thought it said uh, a cut, one, one cut, one pro trap your phone control, something like that, but it's actually in the phone trap tone. These phone trap tone, this is fear pro tone. I'm pretty sure I remember the woman right that doesn't count as fear tone as a fear pro, as a as a uh, pro trap zone, so unfortunately, you know, but this game one should have ended with me just killing him with an OTK in a minute here on my net turn. But I I kind of gooped, so he's going to put a play into either million here if I remember right. Yeah, into either million. He's going to get rid of my Heat Leo, which is probably the wrong move, honestly. It does prevent me from Heat Leoing into Heat Leo, but... It leads me Jack Jaguar, and Jack Jaguar just <laughs> double retort. So he is going to top my Falco here. I'm going to Falco this to my hand and summon this, but it doesn't matter. I'm still going to do my play. You see, the, the deck is able to play from no retort so well, and I love that. I love that about a deck. So, update Jammer. Tranko Target. So, this, this is where the first mid play was. What I should have done is I should have put my Jack Jaguar back to the link pointer of Veiling. And then made my update jammer. Then Tinkled in then gone into Tranko Talker. Because then I would have had because I'm I did my math wrong and I was like, ah, that doesn't matter, I'm not gonna do it. But in reality I should have because I was actually a hundred points off from killing him this turn. I was literally hundred points off. I summoned Jack Jaguar, I could have gamed him, and we would have just gone to game two, but He's going to top deck into the one remaining million, either million in his deck. And the fact he top deck that, the only reason he won out that misplay of mine. Okay? That is literally the sole reason he won there. It's because he top decked into either million off part of tires. Which ha he just so happened to top deck into that century. Top deck part of tires and then top deck either million. If he hadn't gotten either million, he actually said he wouldn't have been able to out my um, Tranko Talker. And I would have just killed him on my next turn. So, it came down to my fact I misplayed, and then he just got super lucky with the top deck. Now, this next one could be me going first here. Just game two. I threw it up. You're going to see it's a pretty good hand. I do say so much so. We're going to get Jack Jaguar on the grave. And we're just going to see pop off. Just going to see pop off. 
by the way, I'm playing three foul if you guys wanna know like you're gonna see a death for five in a minute here. I'm gonna go fat for it, I don't want the video too long. So I do make some misplays of when to reincarnate my guys. I'm still learning on what order to do everything in. Because I know you can get easy plus fours with it that in your turn one. I generally get a plus two or a plus three at bat, so I'm still learning the deck and how to play at bat. I make a lot of misplays here and there, but I think overall I do pretty good. So he's gonna eat a million here, I'm just gonna go rage, kill them both. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna keep that tower. I don't want that bandit. I want that. I wanna keep it. He just trooped it up there. He couldn't win. He tried the writing on the wall. Rage is a such a great blowout. It really is. So this is the main meta deck. The other two are kinda not like meta meta, but they are actually competent decks. Uh so that my hand was just awkward there, so that so he's <laughs> You just see he has out after out after out. Uh, called by the great Tropic Falco from uh, grabbing me back my uh, circle. So I don't get my rotor for next turn. But you see I still have potential. I have a way to out hit. This is just going to be a... So I'm just going to say that now. This game is going to come down to just a top deck war. I'm going to say that now. This is, this is a top deck war game. And I... And, and yeah. So. Here we go. He's going to do some damage. He's going to get me low. Uh, so I don't top that monster so I can make my ball load, but I top that war with just so happened to be able to out ball load. That dead does not struggle with ball load. I can I make a ball load out yours, or I can war your ball load when you try and deal something, or I can rage it off the field, or I can strike it, or I can freaking fat veil it to at least make it so I don't steal my monster. So, you're going to see him get me pretty low here. He gets me pretty low in this one, if I remember right. And get changed to where he had no disruption now. He, I don't know, he went frenzy with his disruption. He should have tried to hold his disruption a little bit. But, will tell him great, just being a monster reborn every turn is just so good. And then if I meet the conditions for the second effect, I get like basically a troll judge without a downside to it. But, I, only pl I don't play that many of this I, because it's just recurable. And so it's both through guitar. So you're just trying to see me touch team warring advantage. The deck is great at generating advantage, it really is. Um, he's in a top deck situation, he's just not hitting anything. And I'm just gonna war. He declared the effect, so I just war it, and I'm like, well, boom. He should he should have attacked over so I wouldn't have the link monster. But yeah. Um, and from here it's a team war. It really is. I get foul, so I can lock down that one back room in case that's a battle trap. Because I know he does like playing. Dude, me like to play the occasional storming me of forts. So I lock it back room down, and then I just. And now that it's locked down, it's just gonna pin it. Because, like, why not? From here, I get the OTK. I get my Jack Jaguar to the grave. I bring my Jack Jaguar back with Tycoon a Sunlight Wolf. I get a uh, mole jet because if if I didn't have the OTK here, which by the way I I easily have it, but if I didn't have it here and my opponent cleared my board, I would have mole to match with cycle my F deck and get my F deck back in play. So I'm not too worried here. I did the math here, and this time I didn't mess up my math because in the previous game I messed my math up. So I was like, you know, what? I'm not messing my math up this time. Um, so I had him in a lock, Ash Blossom and Permanent. I could ask, get my ass bought on his turn. He didn't top that situation. If he hit Candina, I got Ash and Impermanent. If he hit Terraforming, Ash. If he hit, hit the Fear Pearl, Ash. And that and he needs one of those three cards to come out of that situation. He did not have any chance. Um, and unfortunately, because he doesn't have any more um, tape go target to make. So he won't be able to make another thing off tape go. So he didn't bought where he didn't need to top deck into the Fear Pearl, Terraforming, or Candina. And unfortunately, and like, don't say, oh, he just had a bad opening. Dude, we both had a bad opening. You got to, uh, my, my hand was bad, and he had a lot of disruption, but ultimately, I win. So, that's one down. Next one. So, this one, uh, I think he's playing the zombie deck of hits. I think. So, we're going to go first. Yeah, it is. It is where he's playing zombie deck, and he just had a complete blowout for my disruption. You're going to see me to uh, get some pop off here. So, I already had Disruption, so I just said, throw it. 
um, to go for Piney. I already have Disruption. We're going to get Katoa back to my hand for next turn. We're going to turn Tekate. By the way, I love Tekate in the deck. It's a nice card. Search Ball for Lady Debug. For when you just don't need to be searching any Talon Grade because you already have what you need. Might as well just search another Tender of a different name. So, like, you're going to team to misplay, guys. Like, I'm just going to take it now. I'm not a perfect player of this deck. Not by a long shot. So, he had to interest. Just, he could have blown out my back row completely. But, he went for my sanctuary because it's my reincarnation. It lets me keep reincarnating my length into new ones. So, I can get bonus effects. Um, and it can keep me from dying. Because it can get me some light points. So, I don't go down that quickly. So, he tried to take that out with one of my disruptions. Which I agreed with, because it, it means I have to find a way to get this back. Otherwise, it does hamper my ability to play my deck to some extent. Unfortunately, I have a really good disruption. So he, he's going to still be able to play, though, because he had one more tender in his hand. So he's just going to go and get Book of Life off. I'm not sure that was the right play, but he didn't tend Bloom. He's going to get Bell Rock. Now, it's on did misplays on hit put with Bell Rock. He doesn't even try and use the effect when I activate any of mine. Because all my monsters in my, on my field and in my grave are zombies. So, that is a problem on hit put. Like, he, he's going to do something that would trigger this and not use his effect. Like, I don't know. He, he's not the best zombie player. And I guess he didn't realize he could Bell Rock and stuff. I don't know. The guy misplayed sometimes. This is not the deck he's good with. He'd much better with Twitter. But right now he's primarily to play to Taku Cybert. So he's gonna end up with not what what not a horrible board. I'm gonna get Fowler to deal with the back row. Um he should freaking bell drop me there, but Trin he showed me his trin trick to just let me know I have a need that he drew into a trin trick off of Tucker. Um, and he not happy. He wasn't happy about it. Um, you're gonna sunlight wolf. He's gonna bounce that back to his hand. It's gonna be stuck in his hand because I'm gonna get that trin tritter back to his deck. So now he has to get to basically a unit zombie to get out of his hand. Uh, heat Leo to clear his stuff off. Now that's another case where I yet again still thought I could uh hit his field spell with it. I don't know. Um, which I'm pretty sure I can't, but whatever. It doesn't make a big deal because he died this turn. He literally died. He had no way to survive the turn. Um, easy OTK. Easy, easy OTK. Game two, you're going to, if I remember right, I brit like, this is a 2-0. This is going to be a 2-0. The only one that wasn't a 2-0 was the Trista one. But, yeah, this one's a 2-0. Easy 2-0. So you and T him start off good, and I'm just gonna go Ash. He's like, okay, well that's it for my play, and I draw another trike. So I'm like, okay, well I need to draw some sort of Turtlekid, and I didn't. I got like what nine good Turtlekids I could have drawn there with the tan. But technically, you don't have to draw a Turtlekid with a deck lot if you have like you can draw like a Piney if you have some sort of level three attender in your hand. Like, you just need to draw multiple attender together or one turtle card. One turtle card or multiple attender together generally is enough to get you where you're going to go, where you want to go. And unfortunately, I didn't draw anything that could get me going. But I'm going to lock it back down so I can attack with a lower chance of getting, like, Mia Fort or something. He's going to book a life, so now I'm not going to be able to tackle Ash. Not the big deal. So he's going to be like, ha ha ha, now I can go off. I'm going to be like, no, 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 good strike. He's like, ugh. He's gonna set one and pass. I'm gonna lock his run to the back row down. I'm gonna force barrel here. I'm gonna get Jaguar. No, not Jaguar. I'm gonna get Falco. Um, off that, I'm gonna go for Falco. I thought I was actually gonna go Falco, because Falco could bounce it to my hand, turn it and attack it, and then Falco could turn it off. And I, you know, you see what, what that's gonna do. That's gonna allow me to punt this over and then do some damage. Keep riddling away his light point quickly as I can. Um, and then I'm just going to go for something that beats his whole deck. The one rank 4 I play, Abyss Dweller. This could literally beat his deck. So he's just like, well, 
th do that, and then he looted it. He lost. I didn't have a title to grab at Falco, but it it didn't matter. Like he to showed me what he had. Like he still had multiple disruptions to deal with, so he wasn't in a good spot. Now onto the final door. This one, if I'm yeah, this is, so he's gonna open up with pot of tires. I'm just like, he so he's playing tire dragon in this one. He's playing tire dragon, and I'm like, what? He won pot rock paper to, to shoot here, and he chose to go first. And I'm like, dude, you're playing tire dragon. Why are you choosing to go first? And he's like, oh uh, yeah, I, I threw it up. I. <laughs> he he accidentally hit go first, so it's like whatever. He's gonna play it through. Unfortunately, he is gonna make an infinity, but I have it permanent, so it's like I could just force the infinity gate and then go off with the ten. And you see, that it's not a horrible hand. Falco in hand, kind of meh. If it, if I didn't have debug in hand, then yeah, this would have been great because it's like I can normal that and do my play. But I have debug, so he didn't go infinity. Nova infinity combo. <laughs> I don't know, he, he threw it up going first. He, by the way, he told me he had Machine Dupe in his hand. I'm like, so why did you not normal summon hurt to activate Machine Dupe? Like, I don't know, he misplayed a little there, I guess. Or maybe he was trying to be conservative, but I just got activated. I activate Impermanence, and he's like, okay, yeah, I loot. Um, because he doesn't have resources to re combat now, and he knows my deck can easily outgrind it. Tom and Gray is like one of the best grind that ever in my opinion. So uh he knew he'd get out ground pretty fast there, so So it's pretty much a GG. It's just gonna see me pop off here. Pop off, pop off, pop off, pop off, pop off, pop off. Just keep happening. Just keep happening, going Lincoln. So he taught me put the card to my the raid to my hand. Um, what that was is Sunlight Wolf adding it. I decided to put it in my graveyard and summon the Sunlight Wolf and get it back. I was just gonna put it straight in my hand because it was going in my hand anyway. He said he had nothing to stop a Sunlight Wolf, so I asked for him that. So he's hurting. He lost uh, I think two of his Cyber Giants off that. If I remember right. So he definitely is hurting off it. By the way, I was like, why did you not know it's on the core? I'm um, in the previous game. He actually part of tires away all three of his core. So, <laughs> um, and here he is. He he should have summoned core. Would have gave him more usage. I just raised that and it's over, just like that. Anyway, that's it for the duel. The deck <laughs> two old like both times would have been a two old against the Trista build the Trista deck, but you know, I made that huge misplay and then he got. Super lucky with the top deck. He had one remaining millions of either, and he just happened to top deck it off of the tires. Um, that he happened to top deck into the tires, and then top deck off, and then off the tires, top deck millions. It's like, what the frick? If he had not got that, then even though I made that huge mid play that caught, that gave him another turn, he wouldn't have been able to win. But, I don't know. It's either that. So, anyway, three debug, three guitar, three piney. Three foul, two mole, one raccoon. By the way, loving raccoon, really good. Uh, one jaguar, one falco, and one tech potato. So I'm gonna go into my reasoning here. I don't care if this video gets long. So this is your normal summon of choice because it's straddle. It's search it's whatever cyber from your deck you want. I like playing three. You, you see no forty. I don't like forty. It, it's nice for being. A, Go into the grave and then let you have a level three attender from the grave that can pop up, but I don't find there being a lot of fate up or trap that I'm worried about. So you know, um, get all. <laughs> I hope we get like a straddle, a timing great level three timing great straddle that has get out if a timing great monster or monster is sent to the graveyard, except a copy of itself. You could press summon the card from your hand. Like if it had that clause, and then instead of, and then if this card is normal or press summon, you can add one summon great monster from deck to your hand, or summon great card from deck to hand. That's what they should do. Summon great card from deck to hand. So if you need to add a pearl trap, you can add a pearl trap. If you want to add a monster, you can add a monster. And if they do give up that, I would actually still play secretary. To be honest, I would probably still play secretary. It's just a free level three attender. So. Finally, you pitch it to give your monster 500. 
and it has a fat from the grave while you control Tommy Gray to peck itself. But it banishes itself when it leaves the field. So if you overlay it onto Tal under Talio, it won't banish itself. Keep that in mind. Three foul. To free it's a Kage to Kage. It has an effect from the on the field to turn it back row for the turn. Doesn't destroy it, doesn't remove it, but it turns it and when you're going for the OTK push, it's pretty nice, right? It's pretty nice for going second just to turn the back row for the turn because you can easily heat the yard away anyway. It's just turning it so you can go up with your plays and stuff. It's nice. It's baked out the back row. Two more. During your main phase, if you link some of the link monster to the turn, you can pack that from your hand to turn the link monster point to. And then grave that if you control the monster, it banishes itself to cycle five times and grave from the grave into that to draw two. So, you know. Raccoon. When a time and great monster you troll, it tires from attack by a poor monster, send the cover from hand to the grave, target the two battling monsters, gain life point equal to the opponent's monster's attack. Also, your time monster cannot be destroyed by battle for the, the uh, cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. Then, if a time and great monster when it, and then it says when a time and great monster you troll destroys an opponent monster by battle. And send it to the grave while the cut in the grave, you can either cut to your hand. So stressful and recoverable to your need one. I love it. Really great with the game light points up. Um, and keep and it really helped make these right here just so much so free. Because you can I've been able to gain twenty five hundred off this. Like I've had someone tap I try my uh, heat Leo with a twenty five hundred monster, right? I lose two hundred life points, but then I'm gaining twenty three hundred life points. Like <laughs> that just made it so that 2000 I paid with Tom Warning, like it didn't even happen. One Jack Jaguar and for the piercing bow damage. And if I control a Time and Great Link Monster while the cut in my grave, I can target a Time and Great Monster in my grave, return it to the deck, and then summon Jack Jaguar to a Link Pointer. Falco, if it hit the graveyard, I can target a Time and Great Foe Trap in my grave, set it to my field. And then if they cut it in the grave, you can tie a time and great monster I, I could tie a time and great monster I control, accept a copy of itself, return it to the hand, and then put some of this. You try that and you just foul to really nice. Tete, if I control a tie bite monster, I get back it from my hand, it's a hard one per turn. Two ash, level three, I've had to normal uh, they've been testing I've normal summoned this because I didn't have another choice. And then I use Will of the Tommy Great to back Piney, and then I link Piney away into a fan link, just my field spell, bring Piney back, overlay the acid Piney, and I'm all good because I can wolf, get my ass back to my hand. Um, two effect Vela, night topping effect, pretty good. Pretty much, my, it's for the big time for the side strike matchup because if I can top them from going, I pretty much outgrind them. Three circle. Too well. You don't need more than this. You don't really want to open it a lot of times unless you just have a hand where you need it. Um, you only need one because once it dies, you just cycle it back. Two just feels like the right number. Two into fusion, just another level three ascender. One sanctuary, you don't want more than one. You just want to start veiling. It's pretty much a gun. It. One foolish, one up to. By the way, I'm just going to go real quick to the Lady Debug. It's a one-cut combo. So you normal summon Debug, search any type that you want, based on what your hand is. You link Debug into Valent. Valent touches the Field Spell. You play the Field Spell. Field Spell lets you link a Valent into Valent. And then, if you have a good summon hand, you'll be able to summon Gatel, and you're just going off. So basically, Debug is a one-cut combo. Gatel is a one-cut combo. Circle is a one-cut combo. You see how that is, like... That is really good at generating combos. Uh, three Tom Strike, one Tom Warning. I feel some good high value trapped in the deck with good. These are pretty high value. They could definitely put some great to your opponent players. And they're pretty much free because the Fear Pro can help you regen a few life points. Raccoon can help you gen a few life points. Two Impermanent, so just hand trap total. Four Vet Veiler. Uh, Do you, Kagari? <laughs> One rage um, at work, you it's a regeki break. Send one town and great monster from your hand or face up field to the grave to target one current field, destroy it. 
A fat number two. Try to tell me a great link module tool that would link something using a copy of itself as material. The Troy could your opponent controlled up to that monster to link rating. So at worst with this, it's a non-targeting cost free Wageki break. At best, it's a cost free non-targeting fire lake. Pretty good. One more, it's an friendly barrier. It can reset itself when a link mark when a town in a Talman Great Link Monster is Link Summoned, they can reach that itself from the graveyard, but it banishes itself when it leaves the field. Generally, I don't use that effect unless, you know, I, unless I have both Rage and this in the grave, then I'll grab this back with, like, Wolf or Falco. And if I don't have a way to get Wolf and Falco in the same turn, or I already use one of them to grab something, then I will use this effect, uh, the grave effect of that to get it back. But it all depends on the scenario. At deck, one ball load. Two Heat Leo, one Trank Code, three Sunlight Wolf, one Update Jammer, one Undercard Ticker, one Nightmare Phoenix, two copy of Van Lynch, one Abyss Draw, one Talio, and a copy of Fire Knight. So, Heat Leo on summon pins a back row to your opponent's deck. If he, do, do, if he summons you to a copy of himself, he could turn one summon great monster, or one monster in my grave, in my graveyard, and one monster on the field. And the monster on the field attack the attack of the monster on the field become that of what's in the graveyard. So if I tell you an ash blossom which has zero attack, then the monster on the field becomes zero attack. Really great for just pushing OTK. Because that's what I did against the vampire sucker. Trank code, when you it says rather code it co linked and it and its co linked monster gain five hundred attack and your opponent cannot target any of them with cut effect. Then it has a step that you can tell link free or lower cyber link monster in the grave, except the copy itself, plus summon it to turn the point to. But you're locked into summoning for the entire turn, not just for the rest of the turn, but the turn before you use this effect. You're locked into cyber type only, so you can only summon cyber assistance. So, like, if you press to summon Ash Blotter, for example, and then you made Tranko Talker, you wouldn't be able to use the effect because you always summoned a non cyber. Update Jammer. Uh, basically, take two low, two or higher cyber monsters, and when it used that link material, it makes it to the monster you that was summoned using update jammer. Able to try, so you basically make update jammer, then you link update jammer in the tranko talker. Now tranko talker can attack try, and then tranko talker brings update jammer back to the link pointer, and now tranko talker twenty eight hundred, update jammer twenty five. You see where I'm going with that. Underclaw is because it's a good cyber type. Phoenix because the only restriction I have is Trank Code because Talio, it would trick me to the effect of only fire monsters, but this is a fire, so. Valent on summon, it starts as your sanctuary, and then from the graveyard, it has a return of the Dragon Lord effect where from the graveyard, it banishes itself to prevent the destruction by battle or card effect of a sounding grate. That is not an activation, so your opponent cannot infinity it. They cannot um, quit drawing synchro dragon it. They can't negate it. It's not an activation. Um, one a bit draw. Oh, it's good rain for the time. I've been able to get out Talio, have a um, wolf, and have a bit draw on the field with like a hand trap and a back row or a double back row or something. That's just really hard for your opponent to deal with. Your lawyer that do have some graveyard effect. Like, they did a uh, Bit draw is pretty good. Talio, detach material from it, but summon a summon great monster from the deck in defense. And you cannot activate monster effect for the remainder of the turn, except fire monsters, and then if this SYT summon cut is sent to the graveyard for the link summon of a summon great monster, you get to print one cut on your opponent field to the hand. Pretty good. And then I'll team my level 3 fire that I used for interfusion. By the way, you can actually recur this with Sunlight Wolf to your hand. So you could sunlight wall, put this back into your S deck, and add your second copy into Fusion, it lie. <laughs> like, I just love into Fusion in this deck, it's so good. But, nonetheless, I think this is long enough. Uh, probably wonder why I'm playing after Goblin, 39 gun deck, Ford Barrel, it's like a fourth Rota in the deck, it's a fourth reinforcement of the army, it's like another Rota. Basically, it's like a two-door Rota, so like, no, why not play it?
Uh, and that's all the playing I'm going to do. You guys want to know more, just add me down below in the comments. Um, Cap G, told you all to get this out most likely tonight. And boom. So anyway, look forward to so Cap G. Let me know what you think of my build, man. I really want your opinion. Um, if you got any ideas that might improve it, let me know. Uh, so let's start my diet. We're going to say this for Cap I know it's going to ask. This is stuff I'm testing right now. I don't like Fusion Fire in the main deck. Um, I like, I love it in the Mia match. In the Mia match, whoo, it's amazing. In every other matchup, it varies. I just feel to make my main deck as live and good as possible. And then if I'm in a, in a matchup with Future Fire, it's godly. Then, there you go. I tied it in for game two. Farty, I don't like Farty. Random chance that I'll get stuff. There's plenty of times he'd completely miss, or he'd hit like a sanctuary, or just something I don't need. Um, Farty, I don't like Farty. Mia, uh, I don't like Mia. And then these, these are just side deck cards that, that I figured I'm gonna play anyway. It's like I, I know I'm gonna play three evenly at side deck cards. But yeah, other than that, um, that's the deck. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think of my build. Um, go ahead and be critical on it. You know, don't, don't, pep, don't like, don't tweet anything. Just simply say your full opinion. Don't be like, oh, your build's a word build, ever, blah, 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 all these touching trail words, blah, 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 like that, per se. Because I will delete, probably end up deleting that comment. But if you simply say, well, uh, I think your use of S curd in the deck is kind of turn. This is probably, a, a, this, all, I think there's better curd. You know, constructive criticism. I've said this to day one of my channel constructive criticism down below, okay? Don't just give me bad criticism that isn't even helping me improve on the thing that you say is a problem, okay? Down below, creative criticism, boom. Not hit the like button, but you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't hit the notification bell yet, hit the bell. Hit the bell. I will go and get an actual bell, and I will bring it in your ear. Anyway, bye. I'm making the video on that, so bye.